move with the movement that you feel good so keep breathing to the other side we're gonna do it for five more times with your own breath come back pull the belly in make sure you feel your core is working and burning to your opposite side kind of feel your core shaking right now to your opposite side again Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hannah and welcome to day 6 of the 10 days of love Pilates challenge. Today we are going to do a fabulous total body Pilates workout. We are going to work all the muscles on your arms, your hips and your legs. So if you're ready, just throw your mat and let's begin. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral, pull the belly button in and we're gonna warm up a little bit before we start the main workout. Now I want you to open your arms to the side, shoulders down, keep your arms parallel to the floor. Now inhale, start to rotate the torso to one side, reach forward and then come back slowly to the other side and back to the center. We're gonna do it five more times with your own breath. Now pull the belly button in and feel free to just open your knees wider if you feel it's easier for you in this position. So really listen to your body here. In three, exhale, reach, inhale, come back, contract your pelvic floor here. Two, very good, keep breathing. Exhale, reach, inhale, come back, reverse your breath if you need to. The last one and slowly bring it back to the center, hands down, rotate your shoulders fully to four direction and reverse, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready, just interlace your fingers here and reach your arms all the way up, inhale and exhale, inhale lift and exhale down and three, two, now last one, bring your arm to the side again and I want you to reach your hand to one side and come back to your opposite side and back to the central five more times to each side with your own breath keep breathing keep your arms parallel to the floor and pull the belly button in three two to the other side and last one to your opposite side and slowly back to the center and bring your hands down rotate your shoulders again fully to four directions and then reverse and now allow yourself to bring your head to one side, depress your opposite shoulder down so you're gonna feel the side of your neck is stretching here to your opposite side. We're gonna hold it for three more times each side here with your own breath to the other side and two. Now last one to your opposite side and slowly back to the center. Now again, bring it to one side and start to rotate your head around your neck and then reverse. And we're gonna do it three more rounds here with your own breath each side, each direction. Come back and then reverse. Slowly and fully to four directions and two. Reverse. And last one. and reverse and slowly bring it back to the center now i want you to allow yourself to rotate your whole torso to one side use your hand to bring it on opposite thigh and open your shoulder to the back hold it here for three two one to your opposite side and hold it here for three two and one back to the center again rotate your shoulders and reverse all right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to interlace your fingers to the back, lift your arms as high as you can. Now, I want you to inhale and slowly move your arms from your left to your right, and three to the other side, shoulders far away from your ears, and use your arms to use your hands to pull your arms away from your shoulders from the center. Now, last one, and back to the center. Now let go of your hands here i want you to inhale try to open your arms to the side and then bring it all the way to the back try to touch your fingers but then you don't have to just really listen and then keep breathing inhale and exhale 
and three, two, go all the way to the back, and last one, and slowly rotate your palms facing up to the ceiling. Now inhale and bring your arm to the front, and exhale, open, inhale, and exhale, and three, two, open your shoulders all the way to the back, and the last one, and slowly bring your hands down, rotate the shoulders fully to four directions, and then reverse. Inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to articulate your spine, can go in sitting position, and then round your spine here. And back to the center, one more time. Pull the belly button in to support your lower back. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. Look towards the front. Slightly engage your core. And then around your spine again. And slowly bring it back to the center. Very good. Now you want to allow yourself to lay all the way down on your back here. So bring your legs up to 90 degrees here. And bring your arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Now activate your feet. Make sure you keep your hips 90 degree, your knees 90 degree. So pull the belly button in. And I want you to inhale, slowly bring each leg down at a time. And then switch to the other side. Now I want you to inhale and when you bring your leg, you can make a more challenging movement here by moving your opposite arm with you. So keep breathing. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And if you want even more challenge, I want you to bring both arms and legs down to the mat. I'm going to do it for 10 times with your own breath. Keep breathing. 9. Belly button in. Make sure you keep your back in neutral. Don't arch your back here. Stick your hips down to the mat. Squeeze in the thighs. Contract your pelvic floor muscles here. 6. Exhale. Come back. Inhale. And exhale. 5. And 4. Belly button in. 3. Keep breathing. And 2. Activate your feet. Now last one, inhale, and exhale slowly, bring your legs and your hands down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, rotate your ankles a little bit and then reverse. Alright, now lift your legs up to 90 degrees again, and dorsi flex with your feet, arms along your body here, inhale and try to push your legs away and then bring it back. So we're going to do it 10 times with your own breath, both legs at a time, and to modify it, to make it easier, just each leg at a time here. Pull the belly button in to the other side and then come back. And nine, eight, seven, keep breathing, six, and five more times here. Inhale and exhale, four, very good, three, try to go a little bit further and lower if you can to challenge your lower abs more and last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth now lengthen one leg dorsi flex with your foot and press your heel down to the mat now the opposite leg just lift it up to 90 degree and that plantar flex with your feet here i want you to open your arm to the side for more support lengthen your leg to the front and move it to the side come back and bend 10 times here on your left first. So keep breathing, open, come back, and bend. Nine, eight. Make sure you stabilize your hips and press your opposite hip bones down to the mat. Seven, inhale, and exhale. Only your leg is moving, your opposite leg and your hips not lifting up. Just stabilize and keep it in the position here. Very good. And five, four, three, pull the belly button in with your own breath and two, inhale. And exhale. Now last one, lengthen, open, come back and bend. And now to your opposite side here, dorsi flex with your lengthening leg and your opposite leg activate your foot here again lengthen and open come back and bend inhale with your own breath keep breathing and we're gonna do it for eight more times with your own breath inhale lengthen exhale come back and seven 
Again, you can always use your hand to press your opposite hip down to make sure that it's stabilized. Six and five. Inhale and exhale. Four. Belly button in. And three. Keep breathing. Two more times. Stay with your own breath. And the last one. And slowly bring it back and legs down. Shut your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to press your feet down. Open your legs a little apart. Now keep your foot on feet, foot distance from your heel to your hips here. And you can put the other foot in between to track it. Now inhale, press whole feet down. Arms along your body, tuck the tailbone forward and draw your hips all the way up. Inhale and slowly bring it down 10 times so with your own breath. So inhale, lift and exhale. Just squeeze your booty muscles, squeezing your thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscles here. Nine and exhale, come back and eight all the way up and down. Seven, keep breathing. Six, belly button all the way in. Squeeze your body, squeeze your inner thighs. Five. And four. Three more times. So inhale all the way up. And exhale down. And two. And the last one. Lift. And slowly bring it down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to challenge your booty muscles a little bit more by open your legs wider here. Now tuck the tailbone forward and draw your hips all the way up. And start to lift your heels up and down. Squeeze your booty muscles here in 10, 9, 8. Make sure you stabilize your hips here. Your hips balanced. Only your heels going up and down. Very good. Keep breathing. And 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one. Slowly bring your hips down each vertebra at a time with your bike. Now, again, I want you to inhale, tuck your tailbone forward and draw your hips all the way up with your feet as wide as you can. And then slowly bring it down. You're going to do it 10 more times here. All the way up and down. And nine, keep breathing. Slowly, squeeze your booty, squeeze your thighs. And then come back, contract your pelvic floor muscles here. Very good. And six more times, so inhale all the way up. And exhale down. And five. Four, belly button in. And three more times, so inhale. And exhale, two, very good, keep breathing. Now last one, all the way up. And slowly draw your hips down. Keep your feet together, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to slowly hug one knee to chest and lengthen one leg to the front, to the ceiling, and then slowly bring your leg down and then lift it up. So, I want you to stabilize your whole torso, your leg here, and only your lengthening leg is moving. Keep breathing, plant our flex with your foot. And we're gonna do it 10 times here with your own breath. Nine. Don't have to go all the way down to the mat. Just really listen to your lower back and listen to your body here. Seven. Six. Squeeze in the thighs. Five. And four more times, so inhale down. Exhale, lift, three, keep breathing, and two, inhale, and exhale. Now last one, and slowly bend your knee to your opposite side, lengthen it all the way up, and down, and lift, and down, squeeze your thighs, and really press your hips down, pull the belly button in 10 times, sit with your own breath, inhale, and exhale, and nine, keep breathing, eight, seven, Six and five, four, belly button in three, two, and last one. And slowly 
Hug your knees to your chest. Rotate your ankles and then reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, just lift your legs up to 90 degrees. Open your arms to the side. Now open your legs to the side and then lengthen your legs and then come back. If you want more challenge, you lift your arms up and open it to the side and move it over your head and bring it back and lift. So open, lengthen your legs, hands over head and then come back, lift. Open and close and lift. We're gonna do it five. Squeeze in your thighs and don't have to open your legs so wide. Just really listen to your body. Four. And three. Belly button in. Two. And then last one. And slowly bring it back. Hug your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And now I want you to allow yourself to lengthen one leg up and activate your feet. Slowly bring your leg down and open to the side. Now I want you to hold your left leg here. Really use your hand to press both hips down. So if you don't lift your hips up here, try to lift your opposite heel up and leg up to 90 degree here. Lengthen and then come back, engage your core. I'm gonna do it 10 times here with your own breath. Keep breathing, nine, Pull the belly button in and don't have to open this leg so far. Just really listen to your body. You can close it a little bit higher if you feel like you want to make it easier. And six and five. Belly button in. Activate your feet. Four. Squeeze in the thighs. Three. Two. Try to lengthen your leg all the way towards the front. Now last one. And slowly close your knees bring it back again we're gonna lengthen your opposite leg bring it down and to the side hold it here again use your hand to press down use your shoulder blades press down to the mat and lift your opposite leg up and now again lift and then bring it back lengthen and bring it back really engage your core feel your lower abs working here and make sure that you're back in neutral position feel free to just bring it your other leg higher if you want to make it easier and have to listen to your lower back here very good keep breathing and five inhale and exhale come back four belly button in always activate your feet three beautiful and two now last one and slowly close your knees hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to press your feet down and lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. Open your elbows wider here. Now I want you to inhale one feet distance from your chin to your chest. Lift your chest a little bit higher, lift your leg up and then bring it down to the other side and then come back. 10 more times, see each side with your own breath to the other side. And nine, keep breathing. Eight. Seven, belly button in, six, and five, inhale, and exhale to the other side, four, squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles, three, belly button in, and two, and the last one, lift, and down to the other side, and slowly bring your feet down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degree, arms along your body. Now inhale and lengthen your legs and then exhale, bring it back. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Pull the belly button in, back in neutral. Now you can lower your legs a little bit further and down if you want to challenge your abs more, your lower abs here. But if you feel like you want to make it easier, just lift your legs up to 90 degrees to even like higher towards the ceiling. So engage your core, belly button in. And five, four, inhale and exhale. Three, keep breathing. Two, and last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. 
inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready allow yourself to press your feet down lift your hips all the way up and now start to rotate your hips to one side and then to the other side take time sit with your own breath pull the belly button in nine eight seven six and five four three two and last one lift your hips all the way up hold it here open your arms to the side lift your arms above the mat so you're going to feel the gravity on your arms here start to make a little pulse with your arms squeeze your booty squeezing your thighs at the same time really engage your core and keep your hips stabilized and balanced and 10 9 8 7 6 and 5 4 3 2 and one slowly draw your hips down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to lift one knee up and lengthen your opposite leg to the front lift your head off the mat inhale and exhale switch you want to do it 10 times with your own breath so keep breathing nine eight chest up a little bit higher on this distance from your chin to your chest and six five four belly button in three keep breathing and two now last one and slowly bring your head down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready just lift your legs up to 90 degree again activate your feet now this time open your arm to the side I want you to inhale and bring your heels to one side so your knees try to keep at the same position only moving your heels here and then to your opposite side engage your core you're gonna feel your hips working here pull the belly button in very good and 10 press your shoulders down pull the belly button in nine squeeze your booty muscles eight seven six and five four three very good and two and the last one and slowly back to the center bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and lean on one side to sit up so keep your hands behind your hips close your elbow to the back here I want you to inhale and lean backward push your chest up pull the belly button in and start to make a little pulse here so 10 shoulders far away from your ears 9 8 7 6 keep breathing 5 feel your arms working your shoulders and your back working and 3 2 and the last one slowly lengthen your arms here now I want you to inhale and lift your hips up soften your elbows here and I want you to slowly make a little pulse with your hips so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 slowly bring your hips down now I want you to inhale and again we're gonna do it one more time lift your hips up now start to rotate your hips from left to right with your shoulders still stabilized and far away from your ears we're gonna do it 9 8 make sure you keep your chin to the chest look towards the front and don't pull your chin up to the ceiling because we don't want to put a lot of pressure on your neck here and 5 4 belly button in 3 keep breathing 2 and last one and slowly bring it back to the center and down to the mat now flex forward hug your ankle or your knee just really listen to your body shake your hips here. inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your spine open your legs a bit apart and dorsiflex with your feet here now inhale bring your arms to the front slide back to open your chest and lean backward so I want you to inhale chest open lengthen your spine and start to slide one heel towards the hips and then lengthen to your opposite side now if you want to challenge your core more and make it even more challenging just bring both heels at a time so keep breathing squeeze your thighs pull the belly button in always 
Keep your back lengthening here. We're gonna do it 10 times, so with your own breath. Inhale, and exhale, squeezing the thighs. Nine, eight, very good, keep breathing, seven, and then come back, six, and five, pull the belly button in, four, three, engage your core as much as possible, two, now last one, and slowly lengthen your legs, flex forward, and slightly engage your core, pull the belly button in, and lengthen your spine again one more time. Now this time, I want to inhale and activate plantar flex with your feet, press your feet down, lift your heels up, engage your core, and bring your hands behind your hips, close your elbow to the back, or you can put your forearms all the way down to the mat if you want to make it easier. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. Now inhale, and start to lift both legs up so your lower legs parallel to the floor here lengthen one leg and switch to the other side come back and eight seven six pull the belly button in five four three two feel your legs are shaking and last one and slowly bring your legs down and come to hug your knees onto your chest Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right, now when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to again just lengthen and close your hands behind your hips here. Close your elbows towards the back and keep your feet together. Plantar flex with your feet. Now inhale and start to bring your hips all the way up again. This time, change your chest, look towards the front and then bend your knees. So move your torso to the front and then come back and when you do this just really make sure you listen to your body here you can always open your legs wider if it's easier for you and you can just soften your elbows all the time make sure you don't put a lot of pressure on your wrist so keep breathing inhale and exhale and five pull the belly button in four always keep your chin to the chest and don't point your chin up to the ceiling three two and last one and slowly bring your hips down and again flex forward hug your knees to your chest and rotate your wrist and reverse inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to lay all the way down on your belly so make a pillow under your forehead here and now slowly inhale, bring your legs up and slowly bring it down. Pull the belly button in. We're gonna do it 10 times, so with your own breath. So keep breathing, nine, eight, seven. Keep breathing, six, and five. Inhale and exhale, squeeze your body, lengthen your legs all the way up to the back. Squeeze your inner thighs, control your pelvic floor muscles here. And last one, and slowly, Bring your legs down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to bend your knees. Now try to use your hand to hug your ankles here if you can. And then if you cannot, just open and just only lengthen one leg and do each leg at a time. Now engage your core, lift your chest up and try to lift your leg up and then down and up and down. Now again, if you want to make, if you feel like you can be more flexible than you just lift and hug both ankles with both hands here pull the belly button in lift your legs up and down and turn or oh, you don't even have to use your hand just rest your head on your hand here and try to reach both legs up so really engage your core and listen to your body we're gonna do it eight more times i feel like using both hands on my ankles today so keep breathing seven six belly button in five four three two and last one inhale and exhale slowly lengthen your legs shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth now when you press your hands down shoulders on top of your elbows here and forearms down to the mat pull the belly button in lift your whole body up to forearm plank and now bring your knees down and then lift and down and nine eight seven six and five pull the belly button in four three 
keep breathing too. Now last one slowly, allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly again. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now hand next to your chest, close your elbow to the back, lengthen your neck. I want you to inhale and press your whole torso up and then bring it down. So your hip bones down to the mat, engage your core here. Inhale and exhale. And 10, 9, keep breathing, pull the belly button in. 8, 7, try to go all the way up and close your elbows towards the back. Press your hips down, press your legs down, and five. Engage your core as much as possible to protect. And lift. Three, two, and last one, lift. And slowly bring your torso down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, and now when you're ready, I want you to open your arm to the side. Now lengthen your legs, lift your arms up just above the mat. And I want you to inhale, start to bring your arm to the front and your legs to the side and then come back like we're swimming. So keep breathing here 10 times with your own breath. Nine, eight, seven, six, and five, four. Belly button in three, keep breathing two, and the last one and slowly bring your hands down and allow yourself to come all the way to try pose here inhale deep into your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready I want you to slowly to sit up along the mat here lengthen your legs open your legs here with the part and dorsi flex with your feet now lengthen your spine and I want you to inhale slowly Bring your arms to the front, palms facing down. Now, slowly exhale, reach forward, open your arm, extend, and then come back to the center like we're swimming here. So exhale, reach, inhale, extend to the side, and then bring it back to the center. Lengthen, straighten your wrist, and then come back. Inhale, exhale, reach, and then bring it back. Really engage your core and use your core to pull your torso back to the center. So exhale, Inhale, open and pull back, shoulders down, lengthen your spine again. And five, squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles. Four, very good. Three, two, the last one. And slowly bring it back, rotate your shoulders fully to four direction and then reverse. Now I want you to allow yourself to bend your knees here and Tuck your feet, I mean plantar flex with your feet here. Open your chest, hand behind your head. Now lean backward, engage your core. And I want you to slowly open your elbows wider, really press your shoulders down towards your hips. Now rotate the torso to one side and then round your spine, touch your elbow to the knee and then come back, engage your core and touch. So really listen to your body here. You don't have to go all the way towards the front, just a little bit movement or even don't have to do it. Just really listen to your body and move with the movement that you feel good. So keep breathing to the other side. We're gonna do it for five more times with your own breath. Come back, pull the belly in, make sure you feel your core is working and burning to your opposite side. Gotta feel your core is shaking right now to your opposite side again. And then come back and five, exhale, reach, inhale, lengthen and chest open. Exhale, reach to your opposite side and lengthen. You can press your whole feet down to the mat if it's easier for you. Just really listen to your body again. Shoulders far away from your ears. Elbows open to the back. And three, keep breathing. Come back to the other side. Bring it back. Two, to the other side. And last one. Go a little bit further if you feel like. You want to make it more challenging. Now come back to the center, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, lengthen your legs here, dusty flex with your feet. Now I want you to allow yourself to open your arms to the side, soften your elbows, now rotate the torso to one side, and then come back to your opposite side and back to the center, 10 times each side here with your own breath. Now lengthen your legs, make sure you feel comfortable with your back here 
you can lengthen your spine and you can bend your knees as long as you can lengthen your spine so keep breathing and five four belly button in to the other side three two now last one inhale and exhale to the other side back to the center and hand hug your knees to your chest stretch your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready I want to allow yourself to lengthen your spine again bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling now reach and down and up and down and five four three keep breathing two the last one flex forward and then come back slowly each vertebra at a time shoulders down I'm gonna do it five more times with your own breath so exhale and then inhale bring it back shoulders down lengthen your spine again and four now if you even feel like it's hard when you bend your knees to lengthen your spine you can use a pillow to sit on it to make sure that your spine is always lengthening and three keep breathing shoulders down belly button in two and the last one exhale reach inhale bring it back drop your shoulders and slowly hands down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to bend one knee and lengthen one leg to the back. I'm going to stretch a little bit before we complete the workout today. So shake your hips, inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Hold it here for three, two, and one slowly to your opposite side. Bend your knee to the other side and hold it here for three, two, and inhale deeply and exhale deeply and slowly back to the center now lengthen your legs to the front dorsi flex with your feet flex your spine as much as you can and again listen to your body slightly engage your core to support your lower back shake your hips inhale and exhale feel your hamstring are stretching and then slowly bring it back to the center now i want you to cross your leg here open your arm to the side soften your elbows and lean on one side and then come back side bending so keep breathing back to the center we're gonna do it three more times here with your own breath to the other side and two inhale and exhale to your opposite side again the last one to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center hands down rotate your shoulders and then reverse inhale deeply to your nose close your eyes lengthen your spine exhale deeply to your mouth inhale and exhale and when you're ready slowly open your eyes and that's the work after that thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoy it and that's the day six i'm gonna see you tomorrow on day seven see you